Hey, we are at the start of another weekend reading vlog. It is currently 8.15 in the morning and my son and I are already at the park and he has already found the creek that we've only been to once. And I tried to hide it from him, but he knew where it was. So that's great. It's not even that warm, but he doesn't care. Uh, so I thought I would uh, just tell you real quick what I plan on reading. So the goals for this weekend are to finish My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. I am halfway through this book. At times I am enjoying it and at other times I am strongly disliking it. I have a really hard time with his writing style and I've previously read The Only Good Indians by him, a novel length story and didn't like it that much but I gave his Night of the Mannequins, which is a novella, five stars. So we'll see where I land with this one. His writing is just really like weird and choppy. Not choppy, I don't even know how to explain his writing and what I have issues with. Uh, the next goal is to finish listening to Billy Summers by Stephen King. I think I'm like a third of the way through. I don't really know, maybe a quarter of the way through. I have no idea. Um, I'm not really liking it. I think part of it is the narrator for the audiobook. Um, he's trying to do like this gangster godfather mafia voice and I just don't like it and I just don't. I mean I kind of, this is why I didn't rush out and buy the book um, because I'll, I know I'll find it secondhand for cheaper down the road and I just don't care for stories like this and I just want like scary Stephen King um but yeah I just had to make sure my son wasn't falling in the creek uh but yeah so those are the goal the pretty lofty goals because they're both fairly long books but hopefully I will get those done this weekend pretty wild but I can't really touch it because my nails are wet oh <sighs> okay I feel like I have a lot to update since I last checked in because it's been like a whole day um, the the last day yesterday that I was filming and vlogging just kind of went to shit um, my son spent most of the day just throwing tantrums and being angry and just teething and just life. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with him. I think it's mostly teething and just growth spurts and wanting to do things that he shouldn't be doing. Um, but I actually made a ton of reading progress uh, during his nap yesterday. I was going to nap as well, but I had a very difficult time doing that. And I ended up reading a lot of My Heart is a Chainsaw. And then throughout the day, I actually ended up finishing My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. I had a very difficult time rating this because at times I didn't like it at all. And then at other times I was loving it. Um, so I don't think I really talked about what it's about. But we're following this girl, Jade, who lives in a small town. And she's convinced, like, she sees all these signs that she thinks this massive slasher event is going to happen, like, in a horror movie. And, um, she thinks she meets who's going to be the final girl. Um, there's this curse slash urban legend, I kind of think of the word, urban legend in her town about this witch on the lake, um, and so she's putting all these connections together and she's convinced that on Independence Day there's going to be um, like this event that they have every year, but there's going to be like a violent slasher event. Um, so she's known as like the weird girl in town who loves horror and kind of gets in trouble with the law. Her dad is a drunk and the whole town knows that and they know like that's her dad and all this all this stuff so basically it is a slasher some of the issues that i had where i thought it was way too long as a slasher i stephen graham jones his writing is very weird to me 
but the thing is is i feel weird uh lowering my rating because of that because it is just a personal preference and i could see how someone would absolutely love his writing and love like that i'm settling on a three and a half star for this book but i could see how people would rate this five stars easy if you liked the only good indians and you like slashers and horror movies and like information about horror movies because she we were getting like different chunks of her homework assignments where she talks about slashers and different movies and stuff if you like that you you'll probably really love this book um i definitely have better luck with his shorter stuff but this book did make me a little bit emotional Obviously, uh, lots of gore and violence. There's some dark topics as well. And at first, I didn't like the main character, but then she grew on me. And then I want to say at like the 60 to 75% mark, I literally just hit a point where I didn't want to put it down. I was really enjoying it and really liking it. Um, and I, I liked the ending, I think. I was a little bit torn on how I feel about how it ended. So, um, like, I wanted something else, but it was still a good ending. So I'm settling on three and a half stars. Uh, it, again, if you like horror movies, if you like slashers, and if you've liked his previous work, I would recommend this one. Um, and then I literally, 10 minutes ago, finished Billy Summers by Stephen King. This hit another point. Okay. Let me just, let me start all over with this. Earlier, in another clip, I was saying that I wasn't really liking it because of the the narrator and how he was putting on different voices or whatever. Um, that was only for one specific character, and we kind of moved on from that, which was nice. And um, we get introduced to another character who I really liked, and um, a relationship that I really liked. And um, I, d I don't want to say much because I don't want to spoil it because it just came out. Um, but I hit a point in the book where I didn't want to put it down. I stayed up late last night listening to it. I listened to, to it like all day this morning. Like uh, we went out on a walk. I like did some cleaning, took a shower, like just listening to it nonstop. And I literally got teary eyed at the end. And it didn't end how I wanted it to, but it was still a good ending. And um, I think I'm going to give it four stars. Uh, I was just really concerned about the pacing and the length with the story that we were getting early on. But then I got better, in my opinion. Uh, at personal preference, probably. But um, yeah, four stars. It, it had some fun sidewinder overlook. Children of the Corn. Um, oh, crap. I don't remember what the town is called in Children of the Corn. And I keep wanting to say Hayden Field, but I'm pretty sure that's the Halloween town. I don't know why. Something Home. Starts with an H. Damn it. There's just like fun little Easter eggs in there that you'll see if you've read The Shining or Children of the Corn or if you've seen the movies. Um, but yeah, I am shocked at how much I liked it and I'm really mad at Stephen King for making me super sad and emotional, but yeah, what a surprise that was. Like it really turned around for me. Um, and you know, and being a Stephen King fan, he has so many different works. Obviously there's going to be stuff I don't like, like. The regulators that I just read and did not like. I'm not a fan of Firestarter or Carrie, really. Um, there's plenty of things of his stuff that, you know, I kind of like or I dislike or that are just okay. And then some stuff I love. But, yeah, I'm going to give this a four star. Um, so, yeah, like I was saying, yesterday was pretty rough. Um... But this morning, we kind of had a bit of a better morning, went to the library, and um, got some cookies at the park, and <laughs> just tried to stay busy and have a better day, and hopefully it continues that way. 
Um, but while we were at the library, I decided to pick up Flowers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews. I have been wanting to read this for a long time just because V.C. Andrews being such a big name in horror and literature and um, I just I decided I was just gonna pick it up and give it a go while we were sitting there well while I was sitting there my son was playing with the trains and stuff I read like 15 pages um, so that's this is next up just a random book that wasn't on my TBR that I'm now reading um, I think it is a terrifying tale of passion and peril in the lives of four innocent children locked away from the world by a selfish mother. Uh, I think it's going to get really weird. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to be reading this. Then my next uh, ebook, I'm going to read The Haunting of Lee Hardger by Darcy Coates. I've already read the first chapter last night, and it was creepy. It was scary. Um... But yeah, I, I like having a, a physical book, an ebook, and an audiobook going all at once. <laughs> I know it sounds like a lot, but I like, I gotta have my options. Um, and then my next audiobook is going to be A Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins. This is about a guy who lives on a houseboat, ends up dead, and then I think like his neighbor, his ex wife, and someone else. There's like a, a couple women who are suspects, and I don't know. That's all I know. That's all I wanna know. It is narrated by Rosamund Pike, so the amazing Amy. <laughs> uh, she played Amy in Gone Girl, so um, I think I think that's all my updates. So this is a pretty long clip with some pretty rough lighting, but um, I'm gonna go read some more of this and probably take a nap because I'm exhausted. And yeah, so. Uh, this is only day two and I hit my goal. I finished. I just can't believe those two books like turned around so much for me that I just couldn't put them down. So that that's that's really great. But yeah, so that's my check in for now. This is a very, very long clip. So I'll see you guys later. So I'm here to close out the vlog real quick because I basically completely forgot. Um, we got pretty busy over the weekend visiting with my parents and stuff so me and my my friend here <laughs> gonna just wrap up what i read so you already saw that i finished billy summers by stephen king and my heart is a chainsaw by stephen graham jones um i read a chapter of assassin's quest for my reread tabbing keeping up with the podcast that i like to listen to um so i'm not gonna say too much about this uh, I got 50 pages into Flowers in the Attic. It's not amazing or nothing special, but I'm enjoying it. I'm intrigued. Um, I I, I kind of know what happens in the book a little bit, but I'm interested to see how it goes. Um, and then I read maybe a little tiny bit more of The Haunting of Lee Harker by Darcy Coates. Um, but mostly I was focusing on A Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins. I'm 45% of the way through this and I'm really liking it. This is much more similar to Into the Water than The Girl on the Train. There's a lot of characters and they're all like connected somehow and we're slowly figuring out um, their secrets and how they're connected and things of that sort. But um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty early in the morning. I'm trying to be quiet. Um, yeah, so hopefully I, I just wanted to finish this out real quick so I could hopefully get it up sometime this week. And yeah, thanks for, uh, sticking around if you have this whole time. If you like the vlogs, let me know because I want to keep doing them. I don't know how often, but, um, yeah. I guess that's all for now. I don't know how to close out a video. <laughs> Somebody's hungry. I'll see you guys later.